Hello, everyone. This is Cheyenne Marling, and I wanted to take the opportunity to highlight our great dashboards that we've been developing for the last two years. What I'm finding is that so many individuals have no idea the great data that we have available, but the dashboards are only um, available to those who participate in our studies. So here in front of you, you see it's the 10th edition crisis event impact management um, dashboard. And this is taking all the respondents who have participated in this most recent study. And so if you do participate, when you take the study, you choose which dashboard you want to receive based on either industry or by organizational revenues. So just to kind of go through what kind of data you would get um, as a participant, we have first the program characteristics, the length of the program existence, program maturity, but then we start getting into, and you see it goes from blue to orange. So now we're in the pre-planning. So some of the pre-planning efforts the companies are, are conducting in preparation for any type of events or impacts. Um, looking to see if plans are accessible in a mobile format. What are some of the communication methods are gonna utilize during the event? What are the events that they're most concerned about? And they chose the top five or 10. And then whatever events they chose, auto-populated into the next follow-up question on how prepared are they for those different events. Then we look at some of the challenges that companies may have associated with their crisis management team. Um, so those are various challenges from agreement on the level of transparency in crisis communications, um, inability to view the crisis from an external stakeholder's perspective. So all those different challenges that really come into play with your pre-planning efforts. Then we get into uh, if you did have an event in the last 12 months, yes or no, and if you did, you get into these event management um, questions on what events did you uh, have in the last uh, 12 months in the last year, and looking at the frequency for each event, the level of response for each event, um, how much advance warning did you have for the different events, uh, what was the recovery um, that you conducted for each event, the scale of the impact, um, the impact to the employees, the executive involvement, the length of the business resumption period, um, percent of the critical systems that were impacted during the event, um, as well as the estimated financial loss. Uh, we do wrap up the study at looking at what are some of the enhancements moving on in the next year, so the investment changes, um, it, it changes with executive support. So if you have not participated in the study, definitely encourage you to do so and please share with your peers because your customized dashboard will only be as good as the response that is received. To participate in the study, you want to go to our website at bcmanagement.com. You want to cover over research and insights. Go down to BCM Program Research, which will take you to this page. When you're here, you see Participate in Event Impact Management Study. When you click on that button, it'll take you to the primary page that kind of just de details the study itself. Um, we are encouraging participation by February 3rd, and please share with colleagues. We discourage consultants from participating. This is really meant for individuals who are involved within um, one company, cor one corporate environment within, or, or government, excuse me, but within a, a company entity, organization involved in business continuity, uh, resilience management, crisis management, incident response, and we encourage one participant um, per organization, unless you have multiple people managing um, different aspects of the program, meaning by business unit or processes, so they have to be involved in program management. Um, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. We're, uh, again, wanting to get the response by February 3rd and completely confidential. We do not need your email address. Um, we do need your personal email to send it to, but we don't need any company identifying information. So please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Again, please, please share. And we look forward to uh, sharing the results in the coming months. Thanks so much, bye.